वेलकम टू माई YouTube चैनल मोदी मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग ट्यूटोरियल्स इन दिस वीडियो आई वुड लाइक टू एक्सप्लेनिंग अबाउट इन डिटेल्स थियरी ऑफ बियरिंग मटेरियल्स सो बियरिंग डेट विल बी हैविंग अ वाइड एप्लीकेशन इन द फील्ड ऑफ मैन्युफैक्चरिंग इंडस्ट्रीज एंड इट विल बी हैविंग लॉट्स ऑफ एप्लीकेशन इन डिफरेंट अप्लायसेस सो लेट अस स्टार्ट विद द थियोरी सो बेरिंग मटेरियल्स डेट विल बी हैविंग such kind of properties like the friction between the bearing and the rotating shaft should be minimum so that is the basic requirement of the bearing materials you should select such kind of materials that will be having a lower friction so it will be having a free motion it should be hard and wear resistance and longer life so if your selected material it will be wear resistance so that will be the less wear so due to that it will be having a long life then after it should have sufficient load bearing ability then and then it will be transferring load from one shaft to the another shaft easily or you can say with minimum friction so this kind of material it will be having a sufficient load bearing ability without failure that is the most important part without failure then after it should have sufficient plasticity so this is also the one of the requirements then after it should have high fatigue resistance so bearing it will be the working in continuous way so the fatigue kind of loading it will be on to the bearing materials so such kind of material having a high fatigue resistance fatigue means it will be the repeated loading on to the materials it should have good thermal conductivity also so easily heat dissipated is possible it should have very low or very high melting point so that will be depends upon the requirements it should have oil retaining capacity so it will be act as an self lubricated materials then after good corrosion resistance cheap and readily available into the market as per my requirements so basically the bearing it will be produced into the mass productions with different appliances after this the basic materials start with the white metals or you can say bobbits so in the case of the bobbits the bobbits are either lead base or tin base alloy so if it will be the lead base or you can say pb base so in that case of the compositions for the white metals or you can say for the bobbits so 1 to 10% of the tin then lead into balance then 10 to 15% of the sb 1.5 to 3.5% of the coppers and remaining others as a 1.25 to 1.75 percentage cadmium and 1.5 as then after for the tin base alloy for the white metal bobbits so tin is in balance with the lead up to 10% 5% to 12% is sb 3 to 5% of the other uh, copper and rest of the others so the properties for the white metals or you can say bobbit so it will be having a excellent property for the corrosion resistance wear resistance and cost wise lead is added to these bobbits to reduce their cost and as well as increasing the properties of the material that is the most important part then the various applications like lorry diesel engine crankshafts after this copper lead alloy so in the case of the copper lead bearings are widely used into the automotive and aeronautics applications this alloy contains lead into the range of the 20 to 40% with the small amount of tin so the bearing materials you can also use for a silver bearing tin bronze bearing aluminum alloys grey cast irons 
So these bearings are manufactured by the powder metallurgy process in which you should achieve the zero scrap and this process is only feasible for the mass production. And if you make the bearing from the powder metallurgy process, so powder metallurgy process having advantage to produce porous material as well as the self lubricating materials. So bearing that will be the requirement of the lubrications for low friction. So this is the most appropriate manufacturing method to produce the bearings. Porous bearings are made from the copper and iron based powder with much as a 40 to 50 percent porosity and that will be only possible with the powder metallurgy process and are integrated with the oil. During the use oil from the porous slowly comes out and from a lubricating films onto the moving surface. So that is an advantage of the powder metallurgy process. It will be act as a self lubricated materials. When working is stopped, the oil goes back to the porous by capillary actions. So always it will be into the wet conditions with the oil or you can say good lubrications. They do not require any external lubrications and hence called as a self lubricating bearings. So in that case, copper having a 90% weightage, then tin 10% graphite and iron bearings are widely used as a self lubricating bearings. So I hope you can understand this. If you like this, then subscribe and share Modi Mechanical Engineering Tutorials. Thank you so much and keep watching.